Hey, um, it's me again. I'm back, I guess. Otherwise known as Gamer's Vengeance for another review. This time, it's our first last gen PS. Um, it's our first last gen console review. Meaning, I can finally film on any console I want. Because I got splitters today. And so, yeah. This is State of Emergency, and let's just get this out of the way fast. This is not going to be a long review at all. But uh, right now, what we're seeing here is, I believe it's called Chaos, and that's just where you run around, cause mayhem and destruction. And this is one of the, this is the highest score I've ever gotten it. And uh, I was playing on the mall here. And yes, this game is very violent, as you can see, with lots of decapitations with the shotgun. It's probably the best weapon if you're using a gun. And then you have the taser, which isn't a bad weapon, but it's mainly for the. Uh, for the more crowded situations, and then there's the grenade launcher, which really, if you are in a, if you're in a rush just to beat a level, or if you're just stuck, then you need to get the taser, or I mean not the taser, the rocket launcher, and just shoot everywhere, and uh, and that's how you, and that's how you'll complete the level very fast, because when you're just shooting everywhere, you're blowing up so much stuff but you would I wouldn't use it if the civilian penalty is on like it is here so I had to be careful with my shotgun shots not to hit anybody I believe I only killed like three civilians but for every civilian you kill that's like a thousand points off and right now we're at 194,000 and I do not want to hit any civilians right now so yes now let's get to the now let's get to the actual review here uh, so the positives the chaos mode is very fun and addicting, and um, and all the fighting and, and melee stuff, all that's really simple. And um, overall, it's just a fun little simple game. And for what you can pick it up now for four dollars, it's not bad. Now for the bad, the story and the can or just the campaign in general, which is called Revolution, it's just awful. I mean. It's awful. I mean, you'll see it at the end, and uh, I didn't. I only wanted to play like 20 seconds of it because I I, w I spent like an hour trying to beat the first level and I, I could not do it. So and also one other bad thing is uh, aiming. Aiming is a real problem when you don't have so much ammo. When you have so little ammo, you want every shot to count, and there's no auto aim or anything like that that I've discovered. If there is, I apologize, and I'll fix the review and uh, re-upload it later. But um, to my knowledge, there is no there is no um, auto aim, and that can make the game very tricky and uh, hard to play. And overall, the a lot of the stuff does not look very good. But um, now let's get to some more positives. This is probably some of the most, at the time, this is the most characters that were ever on screen at once. And, s and today, it's still kind of stunning because everything you see on screen, I mean, like, every little, every sprite you see on screen right now, and a sprite is like a, is like a character or model, whatever you want to call it, can be killed. All of that can be killed. And there's just not many games that have that nowadays, like, Left 4 Dead does that, but... And it doesn't do it in this quantity, and so yeah, that's a pro, that's a pro, and it, it really feels like um, like you're part of a riot, and so yeah, the score will probably get a seven point eight, seven point eight is pretty good.